guys, Belinda here. Um, I thought I'd bring you to see a bit of a colour combo. Here it is. These are macaws. Big parrot. Beautiful colour inspiration. Look at this guy sitting over here. Oh, that must be female. Mm -hmm. the, the males are generally more colourful. Yeah, they're very big. Very really beautiful. Hi everybody, welcome back. Belinda here. Um, so I'm just reusing a canvas here today. It's a 12 by 16 inch. And um, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I am using the color palette from the McCaw. I was fortunate enough to be invited as a thank you to the zoo. And I can't tell you how happy that made me. <laughs> I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, let's see what colours I'm going to go in with first. So let me run through the colours quickly before I get on with my story. So I have um, Arteza Ultramarine Blue, Scarlet Red, Lemon Yellow, Pale Green. Unfortunately, those have come to an end. Um, <coughs> sorry, I am actually using some gold that I'm mixed up myself. And my white is the Pebio Titanium White. Right. So I got invited to, well it wasn't just me, it was a whole group of us, um, volunteers. So I volunteer for um, an elderly concern, I should say, and um, as a thank you, they decided that they would take us all to the zoo which was so so fantastic I was so happy about it I think I'm going to use all of that yellow and um, for one of my future videos to come will also be based on what I had seen there as well. So I'm just going in with a red. Some of my colours seem to be sinking, so I would imagine they are a little too thick. Uh, um, they're not the same consistency. I tried to make them the same consistency. going to have too much paint as usual. You know me, my heavy handedness. Right, I do want to go in with a little bit more of this blue, so I'm just going to do a separated colour with a, with a little bit of white. And hmm, I don't really want any more green, although the body is predominantly green. I'm just going to go in with the rest of this blue. I don't have any silicone in my paints. In fact, my paints are mixed. Um, one part paint, two parts floetrol, and I've added a bit of water for consistency because you don't want it as thick as 
what you would use as a ring pour or for a ring pour. So I was just wondering, <coughs> do I want to add some gold? Um, this is going to make a little bit of green, I think. Ah, uh, orange. But anyway, I'll just add a little bit. And then I'm going to do a straight pour. See what we get. See if any magic comes out of this cup today. Those beautiful colours. Okie dokie. Um, I probably don't need to put paint around the edge. Let's see, this thing is quite scary. Give it a torch, I think. torch only because the canister is new so it's pretty full and when you give it a little shake the flame goes whew, big okay let's go guys I see a lot of um cells popping up here although I don't have like I said any silicone or any anything really Oof, got a fright now so it does seem to be rolling over itself that's the paint rolling over itself I'll go off this corner first so I don't mind losing more of the green And I'm just bringing it back to the center. Turn that around. to keep quite a bit of that red so let's see red and the yellow turn this around so you guys can see I think there might be something in here.
Yeah. It's still in there. Did I get you now? I'm going to give this a torch and see what comes up. Just have a look at what I've got here. There's a lot of cells. And that would be um, the Ready Taylor effect. It's some um, when two paints or various paints actually rub together they create cells Interesting. So maybe I want to just talk that a bit more. Just open that up a bit, the white. Interesting. Okay guys, I'm going to just touch up my corners and I'll bring you in for a close-up. So this is it guys. Um, I must apologize. I forgot to put my light on in the beginning of the video. It is on now, so hence the um, shadows. I really love the way this came out and the cells are absolutely amazing. I love these red cells in floating on top of the green. And some of these are cells within cells. You can see those over there. So I really, really like that. I think it turned out very well. Well guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.